earth is full of variety of land climate water vegetation animal and resources which is thing variety of land climate water vegetation and animal and even resources also if we talk about the regarding the resources okay as you all of you know that we have already studied the whole chapter resources in our geography chapter number 1 how many types of resources yes there are three types of resources natural resources human made resources and human yes human we we are a special resource so under the category of natural resources land yes which is something comes under the category category of natural resources land water soil are the resources which belong to abiotic resource and are the most important resources whereas natural vegetation and wildlife resources come under biotic resources either biotic or abiotic both type of resources are exhaustible in the nature let's talk about the land okay our first one is land land is an important resource that covers 30% of the earth's surface agar hum baat kare apne earth ki beta hamare earth mein jo 30% hai wo kya hai aapka land hai okay land is among the most important natural resource and now you know that land covers about 30% of the total area of the earth surface 90% of the world population occupies if we talk about the population okay how much population 90% of the population yes 90% of the world population occupy only the 30% of the land area agar hum baat kare ki hamare puri earth ki jisme se aapka sirf 30% jo hai aapka kya hai land cover hai us 30% mein jo 90% aapki population hai wo 30% ke land area mein okay how much 30% of the land area and the remaining 70% of the land yani ki jo aapka 30% land hai usme bhi 30% mein aapki 90% population rehti hai aur jo remaining aapka land hai 70% wo kya hai either sparsely populated hai aur uninhabited okay so that's why we have a very very small part of land which is habitated and 90% of the population occupy there okay you can say that uh, ki land is unevenly inhabited due to the various factors of land and climate water fertility of soil etc okay so due to the some you can say that the rock topography here the one word come topography what do you understand by topography topography you can say that beta the physical characters of an area of land physical features of an area of land especially the position of its river and mountain etc so the rock topography steep slopes of the mountains low lying areas okay so which which one here yeah. the rock topography steep slopes water logged areas desert thick forest are the region where there is less population baat kar rahe hain ki aapki less population jo hai jahan alag alag climate conditions hoti hain aapki steep slopes hota hai aapke water logged areas hain desert hain aur thick forest hai okay so there our population very uninhabited even plains and river valleys offer suitable land for agriculture some and some areas you can say that normally or you can say that ki some densely populated area of the world have ki jo aapka densely populated area hai plain river valleys okay which have suitable for which thing yes suitable land for agriculture 
द एबिलिटी ऑफ रिच एंड फर्टाइल लैंड ओके विच विच वन यस द एबिलिटी ऑफ रिच एंड फर्टाइल लैंड देयर इज इट यस सुटेबल फॉर लिविंग अ ह्यूज पॉपुलेशन रिसाइड्स ऑन इट मिनरल रिचनेस ऑल्सो ओके विच वन मिनरल रिचनेस वाटर रिसोर्सेज फर्टिली ऑफ सॉइल एंड गुड ट्रॉपिकल कंडीशन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज लैंड यूज ओके लैंड इज यूज फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पज एज ए ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट कि लैंड आपका जो यूज होता है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पर्पज के लिए यूज होता है जिस लाइक फॉरेस्ट्री एंड एग्रीकल्चर माइनिंग के लिए आपका बिल्डिंग हाउस एंड रोड एंड सेटिंग अप इंडस्ट्रीज सो दिस इज कॉमनली टर्म एज लैंड यूज physical factors okay the use of land is determined by the physical factors or you can say that some of the physical factors also just such as topography we have already dis discussed here then soil climate and minerals even it affects some of the human factors also such as population and technology okay these are the two human factors which are yes population and technology are also important determinants of land use pattern availability of which we think water population technology are determined also these are also important factors classification of land land can also classified on the basis of ownership as private land and community land which which land yes it can be classified on the basis of ownership agar hum ownership ke base pe land ko classified kare it can be classified as which which thing private and community land first we will talk about the private land as you can see owned by individual okay private land is owned by an individual or family member and is used for personal purposes what it used is it is used for personal purposes like house is a private land after this the next one is community land here community land it is owned by community for common use like collection of fodder fruits and which one medic medicinal herbs these are commonly property resources okay and here the another thing come what about the problems with land okay unlimited needs but limited land people and their demands are ever growing ओके okay, आपको पता है कि पीपल है और जो उनकी डिमांड्स हैं वो क्या है ग्रो और बढ़ती जा रही है सो पीपल एंड देयर डिमांड्स आर एवर ग्रोइंग आउट द एवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ लैंड इज लिमिटेड द क्वालिटी ऑफ लैंड आल्सो डिफर्स फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस सो पीपल स्टार्टेड एनक्रोचिंग और यू कैन से दैट एनक्रोचमेंट ऑफ लैंड फॉर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस एक्सेट्रा एनक्रोचमेंट मीन्स हेयर इंट्यूजन ऑन अ पर्सनल टेरिटरी एंड राइट्स एक्सेट्रा अतिक्रमण बेटा की अतिक्रमण करते जा रहे हैं ओके आफ्टर दिस रैबिट अर्बनाइजेशन फॉर दिस यू नो पीपल यस पीपल ऑल्सो आर विच वन दे आर स्टार्टेड कॉमर्शियल एरियाज हाउसिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स इन द अर्बन एरियाज एंड एक्सपेंड द एग्रीकल्चर लैंड इन द रूरल एरियाज today the vast changes in the land use pattern also reflect the culture changes in our society also even uh, land degradation okay land degradation land site etc are the also problem with land land degradation is a process ye ek wo process hai in which the value of the biophysical environment is affected by a combination of human which one yes human इंड्यूस्ड प्रोसेस एक्टिंग अपॉन द लैंड जो ह्यूमन कर रहा है हमारे लैंड पे काफ़ी फर्टिलाइजर डाल रहा है काफ़ी प्रैक्टिस कर रहा है ये सारी चीज़ें क्या कर रहा है तो ये चीज़ें किसको कर रही हैं इफेक्ट लैंड को इफेक्ट कर रही है तो दैट्स वाई लैंड डिग्रेडेशन नाउ द स्टूडेंट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लैंड ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन एंड 
ever growing demand has led to a large scale destruction of forest cover and arable land and has created to fear of losing this natural resources due to this the present rate of डिग्रीडेशन ऑफ लैंड यू हैव टू मस्ट चेक किया आप कैसे कंजर्व करेंगे अपने इस नेचुरल रिसोर्स को ओके द फर्स्ट वन इज चेक रेट ऑफ डिग्रीडेशन ऑफ लैंड एंड एफॉरेस्ट्रेशन ऑल्सो ऑल फी नो अबाउट द एफॉरेस्ट्रेशन येस इट मीन्स प्लांटिंग ट्रीज ऑन एन एरिया ऑफ लैंड इन ऑर्डर टू फॉर्म अ फॉरेस्ट के आप ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ट्रीज को जो है लगाएं ताकि एक एरिया ऑफ लैंड किस में कन्वर्ट हो फॉरेस्ट में देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज लैंड रिक्लेमेशन लैंड रिक्लेमेशन आपका क्या होता है बेटा इट इज द प्रोसेस क्या प्रोसेस है ये इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग न्यू लैंड फ्रॉम द सी ओके जो सी है उसमें से आपका एक न्यू आपका क्या बने लैंड द सिंपलेस्ट मैथड ऑफ लैंड रिक्लेमेशन इन्वॉल्व क्या मैथड है सिंपली फिलिंग द एरिया विद लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ हैवी रॉक एंड ऑफ सीमेंट देन फिल्ड विद क्ले एंड सॉइल अंटिल द डिजायर्ड हाइट इज रीच आर्टिफिशियल आईलैंड यू कैन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो लैंड रिक्लेमेशन इट मीन्स आर्टिफिशियल आईलैंड आर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लैंड रिक्लेमेशन ओके देन रेगुलेटेड यूज ऑफ केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स कंट्रोल ओवर ग्रेजिंग एक्सेट्रा जो आपके रेगुलेटेड यूज किया जाए क्या है आपका जैसे पेस्टिसाइड हम बहुत ज़्यादा यूज कर रहे हैं फर्टिलाइजर हम बहुत ज़्यादा यूज कर रहे हैं इनको हम कम कर दें एंड चेक ऑन ओवर ग्रेजिंग आर सम ऑफ द कॉमन मैथड टू यूज टू कंजर्व लैंड रिसोर्स so now we know how useful land is all of you know about do we know anything about soil after this now we got it how the important use and how the natural resource under category which land come land is very useful okay do you know something more about the soil which we सी ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द लैंड आपने देखा है अब हमने लैंड की बात कर ली बट लैंड के जो ऊपर होता है टॉप होता है टॉप ऑफ द लैंड वो क्या होता है आपका सॉइल सो नाउ लेट्स बी टॉप द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सॉइल ओके सॉइल द थिन लेयर ऑफ ग्रेनी सब्सटेंस ओके विथ इट इज द थिन लेयर ऑफ ग्रेनी सब्सटेंस कवरिंग द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ इज कॉल्ड सॉइल एज यू कैन सी हेयर एंड दिस पिक्चर ऑल्सो सॉइल तो बेटा हम लोग ऑलरेडी पढ़ते आ रहे हैं फ्रॉम इवन फ्रॉम क्लास थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ओके कि सॉइल आपका क्या होता है ओके सॉइल इज द थिन लेयर ऑफ द ग्रेनी मटेरियल एंड वे आर कवरिंग द अर्थ इट इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर वेदर ट्रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स ओके सॉइल इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर मिनरल एंड वेदर ट्रॉक फाउंड ऑन द अर्थ वन surprising very thing no you must know about if you talk about the which thing soil it take hundred of years to form few centimeters of soil agar hum baat kare soil ki aapko pata hai soil jo hai aapka hundred of years lagata hai kya karne ke liye only few centimeter of soil okay then the after one Thing also you must know about the soil. Here, as you can see, okay, just look at the soil profile. Here in this picture, you can see, okay, soil profile. And even you know, only the right mix of mineral and organic matter make the soil fertile. Here, let's come here. The first, the four layers of soil profile are there are as you can see the first, okay. टॉप सॉइल विच इज द फर्स्ट वन टॉप सॉइल विथ ह्यूमस एंड वेजिटेशन ओके कौन सा आपका टॉप सॉइल हो गया आपका ह्यूमस और वेजिटेशन देन द सेकेंड वन सब सॉइल विथ सैंड सिल्ट एंड क्ले देन द थर्ड वन वेदर ड्रॉप मटीरियल विच इज द थर्ड वन यस यस थर्ड लेयर आपकी जो है वेदर ड्रॉप मटीरियल एंड विच इज द फोर्थ वन फोर्थ वन इज पेरेंट ड्रॉप Which is the fourth one? Parent drop. In different 
जियोग्राफिकल रीजन डिफरेंट सॉइल्स कैन बी ऑब्जर्व अलग अलग रीजन में अलग अलग क्लाइमेट होता है आपका अलग अलग टोपोग्राफी होती है अलग अलग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स होती हैं अलग अलग जियोग्राफिकल रीजन होते हैं सो दैट्स वाई वी फॉन्ड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सॉइल ओके वी गॉट विच वी थिंक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सॉइल्स कैन बी ऑब्जर्व मेजर फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन ओके हेयर एज यू कैन सी फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन क्या क्या आपके फैक्टर्स होते हैं द मेजर फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन आर द नेचर ऑफ द पेरेंट रॉक एंड क्लाइमेट फैक्टर जो मेजर फेटर्स फैक्टर्स सॉरी जो मेजर फैक्टर्स आते हैं बेटा सबसे पहले आपके फॉर्मेशन ऑफ उसमें फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन में जो सबसे पहले आपका है विच इज पेरेंट रॉक एंड क्लाइमेट ओके सबसे पहले फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक अबाउट द पेरेंट रॉक पेरेंट रॉक डिटरमाइन द कलर टेक्सचर केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज मिनरल कंटेंट एंड परमिएबिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल क्या क्या आपका ये बताता है कि कलर कैसा है टेक्सचर कैसा है और केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज क्या है ओके इट रिलीव एंड डिटरमाइन द एल्टीट्यूड एंड स्लोप एंड एक्मेशन ऑफ सॉइल आफ्टर दिस क्लाइमेट ऑल्सो ओके क्लाइमेट डिटरमाइन टेम्परेचर एंड रेन फॉल क्या करता है आपका आपका इट ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुंसेज द रेट ऑफ फैदरिंग एंड ह्यूमेस इट मीन्स ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल जो आपका है ना मेड अप फ्रॉम विच थिंग डिकेंग ऑफ प्लांट एंड एनिमल ओके सो विच विच वन इट इन्फ्लुएंस द रेट ऑफ वेदरिंग एंड ह्यूमेस फॉर्मेशन सो आपका क्या करता है क्लाइमेट डिटरमाइन टेम्परेचर एंड रेन फॉल ऑल्सो ओके एंड विट इन्फ्लुएंस द रेट ऑफ वेदरिंग एंड ह्यूमेस इन प्रोसेस ऑफ सॉइल फॉर्मेशन नाउ हेयर एज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओके जिस लोग पेरेंट रॉक इट डिटरमाइन विच विच थिंग कलर हो गया आपका टेक्सचर हो गया केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी हो गया बेटा मिनरल हो गया कंटेंट हो गया आपका क्या क्या विच विच थिंग विच विच थिंग परमिएबिलिटी ऑल्सो देन क्लाइमेट ऑल्सो टेम्परेचर एंड रेनफॉल इन्फ्लूस क्या क्या इसमें रेट ऑफ वेदरिंग एंड ह्यूमिस देन रिलीफ एल्टीट्यूड एंड स्लोप डिटरमाइन एक्मेशन ऑफ सॉइल क्या क्या आता है इसमें एक्मेशन सॉरी एल्टीट्यूड एंड स्लोप आता है आपका डिटरमाइन जो करता है एक्मेशन देन फ्लोरा एंड फोना ओके फ्लोरा एंड फोना एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म अफेक्ट द रेट ऑफ ह्यूमिस फॉर्मेशन इन सॉइल फ्लोरा और फोना कैसा है कैसा माइक्रो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म है देन द नेक्स्ट वन टाइम ऑल्सो ओके टाइम डिटरमाइन द थिकनेस ऑफ सॉइल प्रोफाइल टाइम ऑल्सो करता है ओके एंड इट टेक्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट हंड्रेड ऑफ ईयर्स टू मेक जस्ट ऑन सेंटीमीटर ऑफ सॉइल सॉइल फॉर्मेशन इज नॉट द रिजल्ट ऑफ ओनली अ सिंगल फैक्टर मैंशन ये एक सिंगल फैक्टर मैंशन नहीं है इनफैक्ट आप बोल सकते हैं कि इट इज़ अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑल द जियो क्लाइमेटिकल फैक्टर्स अवेलेबल द प्रजेंस ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल्सो आपको पता है कि प्लेज अ वेरी नेचुरल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल्सो प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन सॉइल न्यूट्रेन साइकिल एंड मिनरल बैलेंस observation measures so the new word come here the degradation it means soil degradation it is the physical chemical and biological decline which which decline it is yes it is physical then biological and then chemical decline in soil quality kiski quality is jo की सॉइल की क्वालिटी है जब वो अपनी सॉइल की क्वालिटी को लॉस करती है इट इज लॉस ऑफ फर्टाइल लैंड दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज सॉइल डेग्रेडेशन ओके एंड यू नो इट इज अ वेरी सीरियस प्रॉब्लम यस इट इज वेरी सीरियस एनवायरमेंट प्रॉब्लम नाउ नाउ द स्टूडेंट जस्ट लुक एट हियर ओके सो सॉइल इरोजन एंड डेप्लीशन विच विच वन द फर्स्ट वन इज सॉइल इरोजन ओके एंड द सेकेंड वन इज डेप्लीशन सो सॉइल इरोजन एंड डेप्लीशन आर द मेजर थ्रेट्स टू सॉइल एज अ रिसोर्स हेयर द सॉइल इरोजन वर्ड कम हेयर ऑल इफ यू नो अबाउट द सॉइल इरोजन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास ऑल्सो सॉइल इरोजन मीन्स इन एग्रीकल्चर सॉइल इरोजन रिफर्स टू द वेयरिंग अफे ऑफ अ फील्ड टॉप सॉइल क्या होती है आपकी जो फील्ड की टॉप सॉइल होती है वेयरिंग अवे ओके 
uh, of which of a field top soil by the natural physical forces just like a water and wind then the next one is depletion it occurs when the components with which contribute to fertility okay which components yes when the components which contribute to fertility are removed and not replaced and the condition which support soil fertility are not maintained this leads to poor crop yields also to see so these are the two major threats to soil as a resource both human and natural natural factors which is factor both human and both natural so human and natural factors can lead to which one degradation of soil factors which leads to soil degradation are uh, you know that about the deforestation about the overgazing uh you uh overuse of chemical fertilizer or pesticide bahut zyada use karna to increase the crop crop ke aapka zyada increase karna crop ka jo production hai uske increase karne ke liye nowadays farmers using lots of overuse of chemical fertilizers and pesticide rain wash also and landslide and flood so these are the factors which led to soil uh, degradation and which which one they are deforestation yes overgazing overuse of chemical uh, fertilizers or pesticides rain wash and landslide and floods okay let's hear uh, come some methods of soil conservation okay now we will talk about the some method how to conserve soil the first one is mulching covering bare ground between plants with straw to retain the soil moisture as you can see here aapka cover kar diya jata hai side side okay so covering which thing covering bare ground bare ground okay or you can say that a layer of material as you can see here in the picture also a layer of material applied to the surface of soil here okay just like this yes which which thing yes layer of organic matter just like straw and kya help karta hai beta ye aapka it helps to retain soil moisture now the next method of soil conservation is counter barriers here which is the next one counter barriers it means uh, making barriers with stone okay kis kis se ek barrier type mein bana diya jata hai beta with the help of which which thing stone grass soil along contours trenches are made in front of the barriers to collect water yes water collect karne ke liye kya banaye jate hain aapke trenches just look at here okay in this picture find so counter barriers are counter strip which intercept down slope flowing water and soil particles so kya help karta hai yes trenches trenches are made in front of the barriers to collect which thing to water now just look at the next one method of under the soil conservation topic the next one is rock dam okay rock dam here a rock embankment constructed kya bana diya jata hai aapka ek here as you can see in this picture also a rock embankment uh, constructed across a drain a drainage way okay or other suitable location to create a temporary basin for collecting sediment okay kya sediment collect karne ke liye and rocks are filled up to slow down and the flow of water here as you can see in this picture this this prevent gullies and further soil loss kya prevent karta hai aapka soil loss then the next one is terrace farming yes all of you know about the terrace farming okay terraces are made on the steep slopes to grow crops and prevent soil erosion aapka ek steep slopes hai to yahan par kya bana diya jata hai terrace bana diya jata hai okay so broad flat steeps or terraces are made on the steep slope so that flat surface are available to grow crop or they reduce surface runoff and soil erosion the next one is intercropping which is the next one intercropping different crops are grown in alternate rows and are sown at different times to protect the soil from rain wash 
ये डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स आपकी ग्रो की जाती है अल्टरनेट रोज पे ओके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्रॉप देन हाउ वर्थ टू डिफरेंट टाइम टू प्रोटेक्ट द सॉइल फ्रॉम रेन वॉश देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज कॉन्टोर प्लगिंग विच इज द नेक्स्ट वन कॉन्टोर प्लगिंग दिस वन इज वेरी यू कैन से दैट जिस फोकेट द पिक्चर ऑल्सो प्लॉगिंग पैलर टू द कॉन्टोर्स ऑफ अ हिल स्लोप टू फॉर्म अ नेचुरल बैरियर जस्ट लाइक एक नेचुरल बैरियर आपका पूरा बना दिया जाता है फॉर वाटर टू फ्लो डाउन द स्लोप स्लोप से रोकने के लिए ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन जिस लोग कैच हेयर शेल्टर बेल्ट ओके विच इज द नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट वन इज शेल्टर बेल्ट इन द कोस्टल एंड ड्राई रीजन कौन से रीजन में यस जो आपके कोस्टल और ड्राई रीजन होते हैं रोज ऑफ ट्रीज आर प्लांटेड टू चेक द विंड मूवमेंट टू प्रोटेक्ट सॉइल कवर क्या यस रोज ऑफ प्लांट रो सॉरी रोज ऑफ ट्रीज आर प्लांटेड ओके टू चेक विच थिंग यस यू कैन से दैट कि इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द कोस्टल एंड ड्राई रीजन सो दे वट टू प्रोटेक्ट सॉइल कवर और टू चेक द विंड मूवमेंट रोज ऑफ ट्रीज आपके क्या कर दिए जाते हैं प्लांटेड नाउ स्टूडेंट वी विल टॉक अबाउट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसोर्स दैट इज वाटर ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द वाटर वाटर इज वेरी एसेंशियल फॉर एवरी ह्यूमन बींग इवन यू कैन से दैट इट इज एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ विदाउट फूड तो वी कैन लिव एटलीस्ट टू टू थ्री डेज बट विदाउट वाटर इज इट पॉसिबल so water is a vital renewable natural resource okay so now we will talk about the water water is a vital renewable natural resource first we must know about three fourth okay three fourth of the earth surface is covered with water aapka jo pura earth hai okay how much surface three fourth aapke jo three fourth aapke jo earth ka पार्ट है यस इज कवर्ड विथ वाटर इट इज देयर फॉर एप्रोप्रिएटली कॉल्ड द वाटर प्लैनेट इसीलिए आपकी जो अर्थ को है आपके अर्थ को वाटर प्लैनेट ऑल्सो इट कॉल्ड बाई बिकॉज वाटर इज कवर्ड हाउ मच परसेंटेज हाउ मच पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ सरफेस यस थ्री फोर It was in the primitive oceans that life began almost 3.5 billion years back. How much? Yes, about 3.5 billion years ago, the first life on the earth began in primitive ocean. You know, today, even today, the ocean cover two third of the earth surface. कितना आपका ocean cover कर रहा है? आपका जो हो गया two third. ओके okay, ओशन ने जो आपका पूरा अर्थ कवर कर रखा है अर्थ का आपका कितना पार्ट टू थर्ड ऑफ अर्थ ओशन एंड सपोर्ट एनिमल एंड प्लांट लाइफ क्या सपोर्ट करता है आपका बेटा एनिमल एंड प्लांट लाइफ यस द ओशन वाटर इज हाउ एवर सलाइन एंड नॉट फिट फॉर ह्यूमन कंजप्शन फ्रेश वाटर ओके इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फ्रेश वाटर सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फ्रेश वाटर अकाउंट only 2.7 percent how much percentage of fresh water only 2.7 percentage is available as fresh water even 70 percent of this occurs as ice sheets and glacier in antarctica greenland and mountain region okay aapka jo mountain region 70 percent of this exists as ice sheet glacier glacier where where yes in antarctica in greenland and in mountain region only 1% is available and fit for drinking how much water is fit for drinking and available only 1% okay or you can say that only 1% of fresh water is available and fit for human use it is found as a ground water ओके इट इज़ फ्राउंड एज अ ग्राउंड वाटर कहाँ कहाँ है आपका uh, जो आपका फ्रेश वाटर अवेलेबल है इट इज़ फाउंड एज अ ग्राउंड वाटर देन एज अ सरफेस वाटर इन रिवर्स रिवर्स में आपका हो गया एंड लेक्स एंड वाटर वेपर इन द एटमोसफेयर सो स्टूडेंट वी कैन से दैट 
uh, fresh water is the most precious substance on the earth and how much fresh water is available uh, which is fit for human use only the one percent of fresh water and where it is found it is found as a uh, ground water uh, as surface water in rivers and lakes and as water vapor in the atmosphere the total volume of uh, water remains constant okay if we talk about the volume of the uh, volume of the water and so that's why it remained constant as it cannot be added or subtracted okay then uh just look at here uh, this one we have already discussed you can say that the whole chapter we studied in our previous class also class 7 water chapter even in science also and social science in both so water remain constant because of water cycle what's the reason why yes so it's uh, you can say that only because of which thing only because of water cycle it is a process of evaporation and then precipitation and runoff so water cycle as you can see here uh, its abundance only seems to vary because it is in constant motion ek pura water cycle aapka jo constant motion mein chalta hai and how it uh, cycling through the ocean here as you can see the collection of water and through the ocean the air yes here okay uh, then the air and then land and back again okay so which one yes cycling through the ocean then the air and the land and back again through the process of which which thing evaporation then which one precipitation and runoff this as you already known is referred to as the water cycle okay now the question one come here human use huge amount of water okay human use all of you know about uses of water so human use huge amount of water not only for the drinking and washing but also in the process of production also okay just like water for agriculture okay which is things okay drinking and washing the another thing but about the water for agriculture uh water for industries uh generating electricity also okay which which one water for agriculture industries generating electricity through reservoirs of dams are the other usage even increasing population rising demands for food uh, and you can say that cash crops okay increasing urbanization and rising standards of living are the major factors uh, which leading to shortage in the supply of fresh water uh, either which we think either due to uh, drying up of water sources or water pollution okay now the next one uh, one thing come here problem of water availability okay what are the problems okay there is scarcity of water in many regions of the world as you all if you know about if you talk about the water nowadays it it becomes very shortage of water even you can say that if you talk about the desert area just like desert they have to go uh, lots of uh, so many kilometers to bring only one bucket of water so there is a shortage of water in many regions even not only in our country india if you talk about the whole world as you can see here okay if you talk about the whole world there is a scarcity or water sorry uh, shortage of water in many region of the world most of the america you can say that which which one yes most of the america uh sorry most of the africa and then west asia also then south asia parts of western usa and northwest mexico parts of south america uh, and entire australia also which one yes entire here as you can see uh, entire australia are facing shortage in fresh water supply kaun kaun se hain jo aapki fresh water supply ki problem ko face kar rahe hain shortage okay just like most of africa west asia south asia parts of western usa northwest mexico parts of south america and entire australia faces water shortage countries yes these countries are located 
where these countries are located in climatic uh, zones and most susceptible to drought aapka drought face problem kar rahe hain okay drought ho raha hai wahan sukha pad raha hai great problem because of shortage of water so that's why water shortage may be a consequence of uh, variation in seasonal or annual precip प्रेसिपिटेशन uh, आपका क्या हो गया कि एक वेरिएशन होता है जैसे सीजनल और एनुअल प्रेसिपिटेशन और द स्कैरसिटी इज कॉज बाय ओवर एक्सप्लॉयटेशन एंड विच वन यस कंटिमिनेशन ऑफ वाटर सोर्सेज बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपर्ट बहुत ज़्यादा यूज हो रहा है बहुत ज़्यादा वाटर वेस्ट हो रहा है वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट द एम रिली सिटी ओके नो हैव यू एवर हियर अबाउट द वाटर मार्केट so many times you have seen uh, fruit market vegetable market fish market and all have you heard about a water market kabhi suna hai aapne no na now let's know about the here about the uh, amreli city it has a water market okay and where it is yes so amreli city in uh, where yes saurastrar ओके विच रीजन यस सोरेस्ट्रारा रीजन विद द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 1.25 पॉइंट टू फाइव फ्लैक्स ओके कितनी पॉपुलेशन है वहाँ आपकी 1.25 पॉइंट टू फाइव फ्लैग इज कम्प्लीटली डिपेंडेंट ऑन परचेजिंग वाटर फ्रॉम द नियर बाय तोलाकाज परचेज करते हैं यस इट परचेज वाटर फॉर इट्स कंजेपन एंड वेयर इन अमरेली सिटी now student now you got it about the major problem of today's word is shortage of clean and adequate water sources uh, some of the steps you can see that it should be taken to conserve water uh, why because all of you know about water is a renewable resource but it's overuse and pollution make it unfit for use so that's why stop first of all stop wasting stop discharge of untreated water yes stopping discharge of untreated water agriculture and industrial waste okay which which waste jo aapka agricultural waste hai aapka jo industrial waste hai wo kahan aapka bahaya ja raha hai into water bodies so must stopping discharge of untreated water agricultural and industrial waste waste into water bodies sewage agricultural chemicals and industrial water pollute the water with which which thing yes it pollute the water with nitrates metals and pesticides also which which will yes nitrates metals and pesticide forest and other vegetation cover slow the surface sun off and replenish underground water kaun si cheez aapki yes forest and other vegetation cover slow the surface run off and replenish underground water so that's why afforestation also has been replenishing the underground water you got it so besides the water harvesting method yes rain water harvesting and use of sprinklers and drip of trickle irrigation here dc water harvesting method okay then which one yes use of sprinklers now student here as you can see which thing a water sprinkler okay which thing a water sprinkler a uh, canals also used for irrigation should be properly checked for water losses through seepage and evaporation rain water harvesting you all of you now got it it is a process of the collecting rain water from a where rooftops and directly it to an appropriate location where it is stored for future youth recycling plants should be installed to conserve water and stop wastage which thing yes the next one yeah uh recycle okay recycling plant should be installed to conserve water and to stop 
uh, wastage. Better irrigation facilities should be developed to conserve water also. So these are the some uh, steps should be taken to conserve water and you know water is a renewable resource very precious resource for every human being and even you can say that for every living organism so natural vegetation and wildlife okay so first we talk about the natural vegetation and wildlife exist only in the narrow zone of contact between the lithosphere then hydrosphere and atmosphere that we call biosphere as you all of you know that lithosphere is a solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth okay first we will talk, talk about the lithosphere we have already studied in our previous class also so lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth and then what about the hydrosphere the domain of water is referred as a hydrosphere and it comprises various sources of water just like uh, uh, and different types of water bodies also just like river lakes seas ocean etc okay and what about the atmosphere the atmosphere is a thin layer of the air that surround the earth okay and uh, so that's why plant and animal kingdom together make okay so this type plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere or the living world here which world yes living world so uh and it is a narrow zone so what do you understand by biosphere it is a narrow zone of the earth where land and then where which thing water and then which thing air which which things interact with each other land water and air interact with each other to support life so it is known as biosphere got it uh, in the biosphere living beings okay in the biosphere now you got it uh, in the biosphere living beings are interrelated and interdependent on each other for their survival so this yes this life supporting system is known as the ecosystem so what do you understand by ecosystem here ecosystem you can say that relationship between living organism as well as the relationship between the organism and their surrounding to form an ecosystem one important thing also you must know about uh, beta uh, there could be an ecosystem of large rainforest and then grassland desert mountains even lake river ocean and even a small pond also so student vegetation and wildlife are very valuable resources okay and if we talk about the plants and trees so they give us or they provide us so many important things which are very essential for our life about plant uh, uh, provide us with timber okay and uh, give shelter to animals also then what about produce oxygen we breath then protect soil also so essential for growing crops act as a shelter belt help in storage of underground water and plant also give us fruits nuts latex turpentine oil gum then which one yes medicinal plants and also the paper that is so essential for all study for all studies it means a uh, plant also provide the paper also that is so essential for your studies so there are innumerable uses of plant and you can add some more now student as you all of you know about wildlife also wildlife includes animals which we think yes wildlife includes animals then what it includes it includes which thing yes birds also okay then insects also yes insect and uh, as well as the aquatic life form also which thing yes the aquatic life form also so if you talk about the animals okay uh, they provide us so many things uh, just like animals provide us milk meat hides and wool 
and even insects also insects also provide us which which thing uh, bees just like provide us honey okay help in pollination of flower and have an important role to play in de uh, decomposers in the ecosystem the birds also if the bird feed on insect and act as a decomposers as well if we talk about the vulture okay so vulture due to its ability to feed on dead livestock is a scavenger and considered a vital cleanser of the environment so now got it वल्चर आपका क्या है उसकी एबिलिटी ही ऐसी है कि बेटा वो फीड करता है जो डेड जो एनिमल्स होते हैं डेड जो लाइफ स्टॉक होते हैं ठीक है और इसीलिए इट कंसिडर्ड एज अ वाइटल क्लेंजर ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट सो विच इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ वाइटल क्लेंजर ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट वल्चर वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ऑल्सो रिगार्डिंग वल्चर वल्चर इन द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट वर्क डाइंग ऑफ किडनी फेलियर शॉर्टली आफ्टर स्केवेंजिंग लाइफ स्टॉक ट्रीटेड विथ डीक्लोफेनिक पेन किलर दैट इज सिमिलर टू एस्प्रीन और ब्रीफोन एफर्ट्स आर ऑन टू बैन द ड्रग फॉर लाइफ स्टॉक यूज एंड ब्रीड वल्चर्स इन कैप्टिविटी मेरी एज यू कैन सी फिगर ऑल्सो गिवेन इन यू बुक एटीन पॉइंट एटीन टू पॉइंट इलेवन ब्रह्म कमल विच थिंग यस एज यू कैन सी हि ब्रह्म कमल Brahma Kamal is a medicinal herb, as you can see the picture. Then after this, just look at the beautiful picture also. It is a blue kingfisher. Okay, what is it? Yes, it is a blue kingfisher. Now, student, let's come here. Our next topic is distribution of natural vegetation. The growth of vegetation depends. first of all on temperature and moisture which is thing yes temperature and moisture so uh the major vegetation types of the world are grouped as a first of all forest okay sabse pehle kya hai aapka jo major vegetation hai type of the world if you talk agar agar hum baat kare pure world ki forest then grassland also then which thing yes shrubs and then the last one tundra so which which one the major vegetation type of the world are grouped as tundra shrub then grassland and forest also so student now you all of you know that uh, one thing important thing temperature and moisture which you think temperature and moisture affect growth of vegetation so these are the two things which we think temperature and moisture affect growth of vegetation so uh, first we will talk about the heavy rainfall areas so in areas of heavy rainfall huge trees may thrive so the forest are thus associated with areas having abundant water supply but if what about the as the amount of moisture and decreases okay so as the amount of moisture decreases the size of trees and uh, which thing and their density also reduces short stunted trees and grasses grow in the regions of moderate rainfall areas okay which trees yes short stunted trees are and grasses grow in the region of moderate rainfall forming the grassland of the world then thorny shrubs also the last one is thorny shrubs and so it grows in the dry areas of or low rainfall in such areas plant have deep roots and leaves with thorny and waxy surface and it reduces loss of moisture through the transpiration then the tundra vegetation also okay so the tundra vegetation of cold polar region comprises of mosses and lichens so the question is why do plants have deep roots and thorny leaves in dry area the answer is to reduce loss of moisture through transpiration okay and tundra vegetation of polar region consists of mosses and lichens of this uh, bar graph also you can easily understand types of natural vegetation here forest grassland and desert vegetation got it forest vegetation tropical rainforest 
temperate deciduous forest and temperate coniferous forest okay then what about the grassland tropical savannas and temperate grassland then desert vegetation hot desert vegetation and as well as cold tundra vegetation also both comes under this okay forests are broadly classified as evergreen and deciduous forest okay uh, depending upon when they shed their leaves so here the first we will talk about the evergreen forest uh, do not shed their leaves uh, continuously in any season of the year or you can say that evergreen forest do not shed their leaves simultaneously in any season of the year but if you talk about the uh, deciduous forest it shed their leaves in a particular season to conserve a uh, loss of moisture through transpiration both type of forest are further classified as tropical or temperate based on their location in different latitudes also you have uh, also learned in detail about the various types of forest and, and their distribution and associated animal life uh, about in our previous class also okay in class 7 today uh, there are many more people in the world than there were two centuries back to fed the growing numbers just like large areas of forest have been cleared okay to grow crops so forest cover all over the world is vanishingly rapidly there is an urgent need to source conserve this valuable resource <coughs> so we can say that uh, as the population is growing day by day so the vegetation is being cleared for a number of reason just like leading uh, leading to a decline in vegetation and wildlife just like houses okay and then business purpose then industries and all so what are the reasons for decline in natural vegetation here you can see the two reason the first one is soil erosion okay and the second one is construction soil erosion all of you know about the soil erosion the displacement of the upper layer of the soil and it is a form of soil degradation this natural process is caused by the dynamic activities of uh, erosive agent just that is just like water then ice snow air plants animals and human constructions also we can say that constructions of houses buildings industries so many things so these are the two reason for decline in a natural vegetation so the uh, question come how to conserve the forests and wildlife as you know that forests are are wealth and plant give shelter to the animals and together they maintain the ecosystem changes of climate and human interference interference can cause the loss of natural habitat for the plants and animals even many species also have become vulnerable or endangered and some are on the verge of extinction here as you can see one picture also given beta uh, this picture uh, you can see that rain forest here uh, in great nicobar after tsunami tsunami aane ke baad forest ki kya halat ho gayi thi just look at here in this picture forestation a solid reason all of you know about now construction activities also forest fire also tsunami and landslides which which are deforestation soil erosion constructional activities forest fire tsunami and landslides are some of the human and natural factors which accelerate the process of the extinction of these resources one of the major concern is the which thing uh result in a sharp decline in the number of particular species yes reasons of decline in wildlife you can say that hunting okay so animals are poached for the collection and illegal tra trade of hides skin yes illegal trade of hides skin even nails teeth horns as well as feather some of these animals are lion tiger deer black buck crocodile rhinoceros snow leopard ostrich and peacock these can be conserved by increasing awareness so which which things these are the things you can say that which which thing yes the animals are poached mara jata hai beta animals ko kis kis collections ke liye unki skin ke liye theek hai uh, and about for their trade of hides unki hides ke liye skins ke liye nails teeth horn ke liye 
उनके सींग एज वेल एज द फैदर सो सम ऑफ दीज एनिमल्स यू कैन से जैसे लाइक टाइगर हो गए आपके लॉयन हो गए एलिफेंट डियर ब्लैक बर्क हो गया क्रोकोडाइल वैनासोरस स्नो लेपर्ड ऑस्ट्रिच एंड पिकॉक दीज कैन बी कंजर्व ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट दीज आर द वेरी स्पेशल स्पीसीज यू कैन से दैट सो वी हैव टू कंजर्व दीज कैन बी कंजर्व बाय इंक्रीजिंग अवेयरनेस ऑल्सो सो द क्वेश्चन कम्स हाउ टू कंजर्व आर वेजिटेशन ओके सो हाउ टू कंजर्व द फर्स्ट afforestation afforestation all of you know about what do you understand by planting more and more trees okay then preventing soil erosion how you can prevent soil erosion so so many methods you can uh, conserve the soil erosion just like mulching counter barriers rock dam terrace farming intercropping counter plugging shelter by we have already started then prevent overgrazing also so you can say as you know all of you know that about the vegetation also uh it is very important for us and even for every human being so national parks wildlife sanctuaries biosphere reserves are made to protect our natural vegetation also and for our wildlife conservation of wildlife you can say that ki so many things we must know about so conservation of creeks lakes and wetland is necessary to save the precious resource from depletion there is a balance in the environment in the relative number of species is not disturbed ye jo balance hai ye disturb nahi hona chahiye okay so that's why conservation of lakes and wetland bahut zaruri hai beta strict laws against animal trade okay yes ek strict law pass hona chahiye for animal against okay then terming animal किलिंग इलीगल बहुत सी चीज़ें हैं आपको मैंने अभी बताया है कि बहुत सी एनिमल्स को किल किया जाता है इलीगली किल किया जाता है सो इन इंडिया इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द इलीगल टू किल लाइक विच विच एनिमल्स लॉयन हो गए आपके टाइगर ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड एंड पिकॉक्स ऑल्सो सो वी हैव टू स्टॉप डिसाइड दिस अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी कैन से दैट अदर थिंग्स जस्ट लाइक अदर मैथड्स ऑल्सो वी कैन फॉलो सम ऑफ द अदर मैथड्स awareness programs like social forestry and van mahotsav should be encouraged at the regional and community level so van mahotsav as you can see here in this picture also yes he our prime minister okay so awareness programs such as van mahotsav and social forestry ped lagao zyada se zyada ek van mahotsav so that why you have to plant more and more trees okay school children should be encouraged to bird watch and visit nature camp so that they appreciate the habit of the varied species which is school children okay school children ko bhi encourage karna chahiye aur le jana chahiye where yes to watch the visit nature camp so that they appreciate the habitat of varied species many countries even have passed law against the trade as well as the killing of birds and animals in india so aapko pata hai ki bahut se unhone bhi other countries ne bhi pass kiya hai law ki stop killing okay trade roka jaye jo birds hain okay animals hain even in india killing lion tiger deer great law, uh, indian bustard and peacocks is illegal one important international convention okay c i t e s that restricts animal trade here now i'm going to explain the meaning c i t e s what's the meaning so an international convention c i t s has been established that lists several species of animals and birds in which trade is prohibited okay conservation of plants and animals is an ethical duty of every citizen ye aisa nahi hai ki ye sirf ek सेपरेट पर्सन की ड्यूटी है ये एक, एक ही नॉर्मल आपकी ड्यूटी है नो एवरी सिटीजन हर सिटीजन की ये ड्यूटी है वी हैव टू कंसर्व सो नाउ लुक एट यर सी आई टी ई एस ओके इट मीन्स वट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सी आई टी ई एस द कन्वेंशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इन एंड डेंजर्ड स्पीसीज ऑफ वाइल्ड फोना एंड फ्लोरा ओके एंड इट इज एन इंटरनेशनल एग्रीमेंट क्या है आपका ये इंटरनेशनल एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट ओके 
it aims to ensure that international trade in specimens of wild animals and plant does not threaten their survival roughly you can say that 5000 species of animals kitne species include hue isme about uh, roughly we can say that ki 5000 species of animals and 28000 species of plants are protected under the citesk aapki jo hai 5000 species jo hai animals ki include ki gayi hain aur 28000 jo species hain wo jo hai aapki plant so just like examples also bear dolphin cacti corals orchids and aloes are some of the examples okay which species are included in the cits okay ye ek agreement hai government ke sath international agreement government between government mein okay international agreement ki ensure kiya jaye ki jo international trade ho raha hai species ka okay wild animals and plants ka unko threat aur unko khatra na ho unki survival mein khatra na ho 